In addition to my work on reforming health care, I'm also focused on bringing honesty to government and transparency to the legislative process. I've made short videos on four separate bills to reform St. Paul, and I'd like your input and your help on sharing these ideas. The first bill is House File 986, and it's a constitutional amendment to strengthen our existing constitutional requirement for single subject bills. Article 4, Section 17 of our state's constitution requires that every bill must have a single subject and the subject expressed in its title. But last year, the House and Senate authored a 998-page multi-subject omnibus spending bill that spent hundreds of millions of dollars, and the title was even 100 words long. Now, we received this bill about 90 minutes before we had to vote on it. And it received one vote covering all of these bills in this monstrosity. There's no accountability to hold legislators to their votes. This year, Democrats did the same thing with piling hundreds of HHS bills into one huge garbage bill, exceeding 1,000 pages and spending $37 billion. The Supreme Court used to overturn these unconstitutional monstrosities, but they, be quick, they quickly became too large because they mixed funding and policy, so overturning a single bill would shut government down. Our proposed constitutional amendment would allow government to operate on 95% of the previous biennium's funding if the bill is overturned. And as a constitutional amendment, it only has to pass the House and Senate, and then it goes directly to you, the voter, for approval, instead of going to the governor. We have 23 legislators in the House and Senate from both sides of the aisle that are signed on as co-authors of this bill. This bill would be an enormous win for draining the swamp in St. Paul. So click on the link in the text or visit jeremymunson.com slash single subject. Sign the petition so we can begin meaningful reforms to drain the swamp in St. Paul.